We're at the Long Wharf Mobile in New Haven where people have been coming in to get their last minute tickets. As you said, the jackpot is huge, $550 million and counting. It is expected, expected to be larger when all is said and done. Now, people in 42 states, the District of Columbia and the U.S. Virgin Islands are participating in this. We're told 400 million tickets have been sold. $2, a chance to win half a billion. Across Connecticut, they're lining up to play Powerball. Nationwide today, tickets were selling at a rate of 130,000 a minute. I have never done anything like this before. I don't expect anything from it. It's such a big payout, everyone's trying it. I normally don't play, but when my husband told me the amount that it was today, I came out before dinner to get the tickets. What would they do with the winnings? Well, I'd help my family down in Breezy Point rebuild after the storm. And we'd celebrate big. <laughs> Pay off all my loans, probably the first thing. Her daughter has other plans. And I'll get all the stuff I want, and then I'll maybe get some to charity. But of course, the odds of winning are very, very, very small. Of winning the big jackpot, uh, about 175 million to one. A little bit more than that. Cornelius Nealon is a mathematics professor at Quinnipiac University. He says he tells his students they should never gamble or play the lottery. They're just too unlikely to win. But isn't there any way to up the odds? No, not really. I mean, there is no winning strategy. Every single number, even one, two, three, four, five, that you would never buy, just as much chance as any other number of, of, of coming up. His one piece of advice, choose a Powerball number that's the same as one of the previous five numbers. Neilan says it's just as likely to hit, but you probably won't have to split the winnings because not many people would choose it that way. And for the record, Neilan is buying a Powerball ticket, just one, just for fun. Because someone will win it, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it would be a great Christmas this year if you win. Super. Now they've had drawings 16 consecutive times without a winner, so the odds are that we will have a winner tonight just because so many tickets have been sold today. And we're also told that it is more than likely that we'll have more than one winner. Live in New Haven, Annie Rourke, News 8.